All right, everybody. Welcome to some uh, to a new series known as Pokemon Gold. So we finished Pokemon Uranium. Uh, so we're now doing Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal. We're starting with Gold. Obviously, we're gonna have the normal intro, just like we did with Pokemon Red. We are now going to go and mute the game for a little bit. Sorry, <laughs> but obviously we're not gonna mute it for me. So I'm gonna go turn it down for me, so I can at least know what I'm talking about. Anyway. So yeah, so since we finished Pokemon Uranium, we're going to start off with Pokemon Gold, then we're going to move over to Silver, then we're going to move over to Crystal. Now, of course, for Pokemon Gold and Silver, I had a little bit of a twist that I wanted to do, so we're going to do that in a quick second after we start. But uh, yeah, so let's go and uh, dive right on in, I guess. So let's let's go on in. All right. All right, new game. Yes. What? You woke me up. Will you check the clock for me? What time is it? It currently is... 11. What? Day 11 o'clock? Sure. How many minutes? Uh, if we wait a, bit, wait a little bit, it might be 20. How much longer? Oh, uh, just turn... Never mind. Just go to it. Whoa, 20 minutes? Day 1120. I don't know why it says day 1120. Yikes, I overslept. Hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the po world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor, the Pokemon Prof. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. Meryl. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon. Some battle with them. Others use them as delicious dishes. I don't know. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? None of those. My name is... Drathus. Uh, T right here. There you go. Perfect. Drathus. Drathus, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face, you'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures. With Pokemon awaits. Let's go. I'll be seeing you later. Okay. Alright. Hello. Turned on the PC. We're gonna withdraw items. You don't have a free potion? <laughs> so sad. Anyway. Hello. Hi. What's going on here? Oh, Drathus. Our neighbor, Professor Elm, was looking for you. Wouldn't it be Oak? Anyway. He said he wanted you to do some thing for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. Drathus received Poke Gear. Yay! I got my cool cell phone thing. Anyway, Pokemon Gear, or Poke Gear for short, is essential if you want to be a good trainer. Cool. Oh, the day of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? Oops. Monday. Monday, is it? Sure. Is it daylight savings time now? No. Not that I know of. 11.22 a.m.? Is that okay? Yeah. Actually, it is that. Wow. Come home to adjust your clock. 
for daylight savings time. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? Sure. Don't you just don't you just turn the Poke Gear on and select the phone icon? Phone numbers are stored in memory. Just choose a name you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient? From what I remember, the Poke Gear can only record a certain number of uh, like phone numbers. So hooray for that. All right, let's go talk to Professor Elm. Of course, because we have to. So let's just go do this. Drathus, there you are. I needed to ask you a favor. I have an acquaintance called P Mr. Pokemon. Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him. <laughs> so old. Saying that this time it's real. It is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Could you look into it for us? I'll give you a Pokemon for a partner. They're all rare Pokemon that we just found. Go on, pick one. All right, so we're going to pick between one of these three, but there's going to be a challenge at the end. There's going to be a thing at the end, I should say. Cyndaquil. Cool. All right. Uh, you'll take Cyndaquil, the fire Pokemon. No, I will not. Think it over carefully. Just want to know. The partner is important. So Cyndaquil. Totodile. Do you want Totodile, the water Pokemon? No. Think, think it over carefully. Your partner is important. And Chikorita. So you like Chikorita, the grass Pokemon? Nope. Uh, think it over carefully. Your partner is important. Yes, yes. Okay. So we have three Pokeballs here. It's almost entirely difficult to pick between one of the three. But it's fine, because we're going to take that choice right out of our hands, because, well, other stuff. Anyway, uh, pick a number between one and three. Let's go. Okay. All right, let's go app. Let's see what you got for us. Let's go. You didn't even go. Three. So it looks like we're picking Chikorita. All right. Okay. So you like Chikorita. The grass Pokemon, yes. I think that's a great Pokemon, too. Drethus, receive Chikorita. Do I have to give a nickname to the Chikorita you received? No, because we're going to be doing something later. Anyway. Mr. Pokemon lives near Cherry Grove, the next city. It's almost a direct route to there. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine without dropping your phone because, you know, stupid things happen when you do that. Uh, with this machine. Oh, here's my num phone number. Call me if something comes up. Trethus got Elm's phone number. Great. Nice. Alright, so... What's the button? Uh-oh. That's not good. What's the button again for it? I thought it was... I thought it was X, first of all, but it's not doing it. What is the button? Wait, where is, where is the thing? Where did I see it before? Oh, here it is. Okay. Controls. Oh, okay, so I changed it to... To this? I'm in your pack. Maybe register for use. Oh, it's M then. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna go save the game. And I'm going to show you why we're doing it. So I'm going to be right back. All right, so we're all good to go right now. So the challenge for this run, and I literally have it recorded here. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to pull up that file. It's from, a, it's from a long time ago, actually. I don't even know if I still kept it, but I might actually have it. Okay. This series ideas, the Pokemon stuff. Nope, that's not the right one. Uh, main series Pokemon, there we go. So for this one was, so for Pokemon Gold, the challenge is to use the other box legendary only. So what that means is that for Pokemon Gold, we are going to be using, sorry, wrong thing. We're gonna be using Lugia. 
as our starter. The only reason why we needed to pick a number was because we needed to know what the rival was going to use. So since it's Chikorita, the rival is going to be using Cyndaquil. Now this can either be very hurtful for us or actually really good. So, meh. Uh, so the same thing is going to happen with Pokemon Silver. We're going to be using we're going to be using Wall Ho for that. So let us continue onward. Uh, the item was automatic, so that's kind of weird. Drethus, I wanted to ha wanted you to have this for our for your errand. We received a potion. Drethus, put the potion into the item pocket. There are only two of us, so we're always busy. Okay. So right now, we're having an issue with the Lugia, and I think that's just because of the level, because it doesn't recognize Lugia to be level 5. Anyway, let's go and find out what we can do with it. Alright, Lugia. It, can it only know this move? Give me a second. I'm going to go pull it up real quick. Will I go move this so it's a little bit out of the way? I can keep track of it. Okay. Can I search up Lugia in general? No. Okay. Give me a second. I thought it learned something different, but I could be wrong. Alright, Lugia, Aeroblast. Uh, Generation 2. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna have to end up giving it some new moves <laughs> cuz uh, it doesn't learn anything till level 11 and that's not gonna help it with it, its moves but it's got decent move pool so it's not too too terrible wait what Eh, I'm confused about this. So apparently it can't learn Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, or Ice Beam unless it's Crystal. But that doesn't make any sense to me at all. So wait, wait, wait. So if it can learn like Thunder, Fire Blast, and Blizzard, I mean, I'm guessing about the Fire Blast. I haven't seen it yet. Then how come it can't learn the lower ones? And that's weird. Oh, it can't learn Fire Blast. That's interesting. Anyway, let's continue onwards. Okay. How come I thought that you can learn... You can learn Gust for some reason. Or is that a Generation 3 thing? No. Oh, right. Wait, it might just be a ho thing that I thought was actually going to be really good. Because one of... No? Hmm. Okay, I thought one of them would know, like, um... What's it called? I don't know. Anyway, it's fine. We're just going to continue onward. We're just going to try and make it to the next town. Alright. Alright. We need, we need this. Just give it to me. Okay. Shall we heal your Pokemon? Yep. Okay. Okay. May I see your Pokemon? Yep. Perfect. Alright, thank you. So now this doesn't mean that we can't catch Pokemon if we need if we need to. We need to catch Pokemon for HMs because this is one of the old Pokemon games that HMs were how you progressed through the game. So it's pretty cool. Pretty Interesting for that. Uh, you're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. If you'd like, I can teach you a few things. Sure. Why not? Okay, then. Follow me. This is a Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. Yes, I just used it. You'll be relying on them a lot. So you better learn about them. I guess... This is a Pokemart. Pokemon Mart. Or Pokemon. I'm surprised they didn't say Pokemart. Anyway, uh, they sell balls for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. 
Route 30 is out this way. Is this is way out, I don't know. Uh, trainers will be battling their prized Pokemon there. And this is my house. Goodbye. <laughs> this is the sea. As you can see, haha, I get it. Some Pokemon are found only in in water. Cool. There's a guy over there. And this is my house. Bye. Here. It's my house. Thanks for your company. Let me give you a small gift. I received a map card. Oh. Okay, it becomes more useful as you add cards. I wish you luck on your journey. It's like an attachment for your phone. <laughs> yeah, so we're just gonna start tapping everything just so we can get past this beginning part. A little bit. Alright. Alright, Pidgey. Don't really need you. We have Liguria over here. <laughs> Arrow blast, just deal with it. That Pidgey's probably just really surprised. Like, I never expected to be arrow blasted. Oh, Liguria almost got a level! I don't think anything is gonna survive Liguria. <laughs> so I did have to use Pick a Hex uh, to change the starter to Lugia. So I did that, made sure that the Lugia would have its proper moves, didn't give it anything extra. It's supposed to have uh, it's supposed to have Aeroblast, according to Cerebi for Generation 2, so it has that. The only thing I did do is I randomized the IVs, so that they're a little bit different than the Chikorita that we grabbed, but that's it. I clicked randomized once, and that's it. I don't even know what they are. I literally don't. I have no idea what they are. I clicked randomized once, I think the numbers looked good, and that was it. Lucuria is now level 6. Look at that. That's actually pretty good. We've got some really good stats. So one of the cool things about Lugia, and I think it's Lugia only? Yeah, because even in this game it has those stats. Okay. So the one thing good about Lugia is that we don't have to really worry about our like HP that much. Because we have some really good defenses. Like, look at that. That's 20s. Those are really, really good. The only thing we have to worry about is our is our special attack, because we want to be a special attacker. Again, burn is always something that we don't want to worry about, especially about Lugia, where Lugia is a mixed attacker. It's, it's attack and special attack are the same, but we want to work on special attack more than physical attack, because burn decreases it. So it's better just to be a special attack. Anyway, let's go. All right, who are you? Hello, hello, you must be Drathus. Professor Elm said that you would visit. Cool. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. Drathus received mystery egg. I got a mystery egg. Cool. It's a mystery box. Uh, I put the egg in the key pocket. Okay. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. Cool. I was intrigued. So I sent mail to Professor Elm. I thought it was email. For Pokemon evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor L will know it. Aha! So you're Drathus. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon here. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. He gave me a Lugia. To researchers like Professor Elm, Lugias are just easy. I, Pokemon, are our friends. He saw that you would treat your Lugia with love and care. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. Like this Lugia. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Try this received. A Pokedex. Go and meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. 
Stratus, I'm counting on you. Cool. You are returning to First Realm? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. I'm depending on you. Okay. You actually have to talk to him to activate the healing. Oh. Hello, Professor Realm. H Hello? Drathus, it's a disaster! Uh, um, it's just terrible. What should I do? Oh. It, oh no. Please get back here now. What is going on? Anyway, we gotta go continue onward. We gotta go let Liguria level up again. Hopefully. Nope. Oh, don't tell me you're gonna do this now. Okay, thank you. I was gonna say, sometimes what happens is that like I don't get another Pokemon. Like I don't get enough Pokemon to fight, so like it'll like keep my Pokemon low level. So I have to usually like train. Oh, would you look at that? It finished. It, it was there in a second, and it was gone in next. Oh no, it missed. It does have a 5% chance of missing, too. <laughs> oh, I missed again? Man, this Caterpie must be really tiny or something. I don't know what happened. I blinked and it disappeared. Alright, here we go. Gonna heal a little bit. There you go. Perfect. Okay. My bad. Alright. What happened? You got a Pokemon at that lab. At the lab. What a waste. A wimp like you? What are you talking about? Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Oh no. Alright. What do you got, buddy? What do you got? Question marks. Cyndaquil. Alright, that's fine. I can just use Arrow Blast. A move that has 110 power, I think? 100 power, sorry. I was wrong. Oh no, you were defeated! Hmm. Are you happy you won? D sure? Yes? Liguria is pretty strong. My name is Triple Question Mark. I'm going to be the world's greatest tra Pokemon trainer. Hey! You pushed me! Okay. Got down here. We go over here. We go through the grass. We find a random Pidgey, we defeat it with Aeroblast, and we level up again. Liguria is going to learn that new move in, like, no time. <laughs> I am going to do my normal training, like, sort of things, like, before gyms and stuff like that. Don't worry. Just because we have a Legendary doesn't mean I'm not going to do them. Hello. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information. From Professor Elm. Wait, you've got a Pokemon? Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. Hey, what? You battled a trainer like that. Did you happen to get his name? I did. His name was Arkmus. Even though he said his name was three question marks, I could, I, I recognized his face from anywhere. It was Arkmus himself. Okay, so Arkmus was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. I think it's the remakes that he accuses you of being the one, I think. Drathus, this is terrible. Oh, yes. What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Drathus handed the mystery egg to him. This? But is it a Pokemon egg? If it is, that is a great discovery. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex. Trathis, is it true that that's incredible? He is superb at seeing the potential of, Pokem of people as trainers. Great. Wow, Trathis, you may have what it takes to become the champion. Cool. You seem to be getting 
on great with Pokemon too. Yeah, Ligoria is now level seven. We should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. Are you sure I should be able to? I should do that. Closest gym would be the one in Violet City, Drathus. The road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. Nope, I'm gone. <laughs> oh, Drathus. Use these on your Pokedex quest. I've received a Pokeball. Thank you. To add to your Pokedex, you have to catch Pokemon. Throw Pokeballs at wild Pokemon to get them. Cool. I'm just going to put them in my pocket and leave. <laughs> Boy! No, okay. I wonder if you can get it as far as you can without it. I think you can. I think your mom will just call you later on and just say, Hey, yeah, you forgot to tell me about it. Wow, that's a cute Pokemon. Cute! It's a legendary! Where did you get it? From Professor Elm. As unfortunate as that is. <laughs> so you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? I know, I'll save money for you. On a long journey, money's important. Do you want me to save your money? Sure, why not? Whatever. Okay, I'll take care of your money. Be careful. Pokemon are your friends. You need to work as a team. Now, go on. Okay. Uh, give me one second. I think I'm forgetting one setting that I normally turn on. There you go. Uh, is there a cooler frame? Ooh, I like this one. Yeah, I like that one. That one looks kind of nice. Yeah, now that we have an actual Pokemon game with, like, color, well, more than yellow, I guess. Hello. I've seen you a couple times. How many Pokemon have you caught? One. Technically two if you count the Chikorita that I somehow lost. Would you like me to show you how to catch Pokemon? Sure, we'll go through this once. Might as well be here. Alright. It's a Rattata? Oh, man. What are you going to do? Am I even going to weaken it? Dude, use the Pokeball. Dude! Dude. Break out, come on. That's how you do it. If you weaken them first, Pokemon are easier to catch. They sure are. If I find a rat, rat attack, I'm gonna have to catch it. I kinda have to. Pidgey? Can Pidgey even learn fly? Wait, can Pidgey even learn fly? I can't remember if it's Pidgey or if it has to like evolve further to be able to learn fly. Oh no, it can learn fly, okay. Hmm, do I want Pidgey? Sure, I'll throw one Pokeball. If it stays in, I'll keep it. Nope, okay. You're going down, Pidgey. I'm not going to spend too much time just trying to throw Pokeballs at you. Especially since, like, I'm keeping the same rule where I can only catch one Pokemon per route, so... I just want to get the Rattata done and out of the way. Nope. The other one ruined it for you. All right, let's see what we're going to do here. No, oh, we didn't get a Rattata. Unless you're, you can't get a Rattata in there. Oops. I'm here with Pokemon. Going anywhere is fun. Sure. I didn't mean to go all the way down. The speed up isn't even that big. It's like three times the speed. Bye. We're going to go by about... Oops. Oops. Buy about 10 of these. We don't really need a lot of Pokeballs. Especially by low level standards, we should be fine. Centric? We can. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So between Rattata. Okay, so between Rattata. 
I don't know. I don't care if that's not how you pronounce it. I don't really care. I like pronouncing it this way. Okay, Rotata. Let's find out if Sentra does the same thing or if Rotata is just more. Okay, let's see here. All right, Sentra, let's see here. You can learn Cut and Surf. What about Rotata? Rotata can only learn... Rotata can't learn anything? What? Well, it looks like Centret is the one that we're grabbing. I guess they made Centret more usable than... Okay, whatever. Alright. You're level 2. That should be fine. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. A very cautious Pokemon. It raises itself by up by using its tail to get a better view of its surroundings. Cool. I'm going to name you... Cut. Oops. Oops can't type. doesn't really work. Uh, cut. Reti. There it is. Cut. There's no and symbol? Okay, well, I'm just gonna name you Cut Surf. I thought there was a, a symbol one, but I guess not. I guess it's in the newer ones. So that's what that one's going to be used for. So if we actually get, like, so if we find a Pidgey in Route, what is this, Route 30? Actually, does it say anything about routes? Okay, so we'll just count this as a different area then. So we'll see if we can get the Pidgey here. There we go. Ooh, I almost took it out. Okay. There we go. Perfect. It usually hides in tall grass because it dislikes fighting. It protects itself by kicking up sand. Okay. We're going to name you Fly. That's all you can do, pretty much, for us. And you can't really do for anything for us. Bye! Alright. Alright. Ooh. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait. You look weak. Come on. Let's battle. Hey, I have three Pokemon. Mind you, two of them are just for HMs. So don't you dare say that to me again. Never mind. You have a Rattata. Aeroblast, come on. Take it out! This might be the scariest battle ever. If this is a really good Rattata. Oh. <laughs> it was so difficult. Bugster Joey. Ugh, I don't have any more Pokemon. Since I'm the mom. Cool. What do you say? I have to, I have to have more Pokemon for battles. I'm going to catch some more. Wow, you're pretty tough. Can I get your phone number? I'll call you for a rematch. Sure. Yeah. I don't know. I'll call you if anything comes up. Hello. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Then you have to battle. Do I? Do I have to battle? I don't think so. Actually, I want to check one thing before I... Uh, what's the number for it, though? Okay, there you go. Okay. Arrow Blast. I only have one move to use anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> what move do you want to use? I only have one. I can't spell it. Okay. Uh, I gotta go back to that. Okay. Alright, Mikey. What are you gonna use? A Rattata? That's fine. That's fine. Arrow Blast again. And take this out. Oh, 
Aww. This is mostly just to make like the whole series a little bit more interesting. They're just saying like, oh yeah, I'm gonna start off with Cyndaquil because he's my favorite. Or anything like that. I'm not a trainer. Oh, but if you look... But if you look one in the eyes, prepare to battle. Okay. Oh no, another battle. Whatever will I do? Okay. So I should probably wait, because that's going to remove one thing. Okay. Do that then. Alright. Caterpie. Alright, fine. Go Liguria! I could make Liguria shiny if I really wanted to, but I don't feel like it. Yay. Caterpie? Switch Pokemon? Nope. Oh, I should probably change it to set, actually, now that I think about it. Alright. Struggle. Ooh. Nice. Alright, that's gonna be very helpful. Alright, Don. Ah, oh, you're too strong. I sure am. Sure am, anyway. I wonder if Mr. Pokemon will heal us again. Oh no, it's another Pidgey. Whatever will I do? There we go. Don't heal us again? Life is delightful. Always new discoveries to be made. Oh no. I always have to head back to town. Oh, it used the berry, finally. Good job, game. Oh no. There we go. Perfect. Could probably change that to like two times. There we go. That's not two times speed. That's like still like insanely quick. No, maybe it is slower. I don't know. Just doesn't look like it in different places. Anyway. So it looks like when the legendaries are like five or like like really low levels, it looks like that they gain experience pretty quick and then like th like they so like sooner rather than later like start slowing down. Oh, okay, Bell Sprout. Uh, I definitely do recommend getting a Bellsprout as early as possible because you're going to need it for the first gym. Dark Cave. If Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. Cool. There's an item over here. I found an antidote. Cool. Found a Pokeball. Somebody missed and aimed it at the tree. Cool. And because like, did you steal my Pokeball? I caught a bunch of Pokemon. Let me battle you with them. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna go close one thing because I think it's done. Did it finish? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. Air blast again. Oh no. Oh, I forgot to change the setting. I'll probably change it after this session is done. Oh. Another one fell. Whoops. Oh, just look at that. We won. Okay. Uh, I'll do it now, actually, now that I think about it. There we go. Perfect. There's, I think, one more trainer, maybe? Are you the trainer, maybe? Found a good Pokemon in Dark Cave. I'm going to raise it to take on Falkner. 
He's the leader of the Violet Sage Gym. Okay. Maybe you're the one. No, maybe it's in a different version. Sleepy, if I were a Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch. Ah, he teaches you that sleeping is actually a really good thing. It's a bitter berry. Cool. Yeah, we're not going to be gathering berries that much. All right. Came too far out, I bet. I better phone home. Okay, we're gonna go to the Pokemart. We're gonna go buy a, some potion. Nope. Going a little bit, a little bit over, a little bit overshooting. Uh, we're gonna go get four potions because we kind of need them. They're gonna be very helpful. Okay. He's blocking the way to Golden Run City. It's preventing me from shopping. Something should be done about it. But well, hey, I was going to snap that tree with my straight arm punch, but I couldn't. I'm a failure. What? Talk about this tree? It's shaking. Hi. The ruins are about 1,500 years old. But it's not known why they were built or by whom. Okay. Cool. This place has a mystical quality to it. it feels sort of ethereal, even. Nothing? Okay. Want to double check. Okay, so if you go over here, I think. I come to this chamber. There are sliding panels that depict a Pokemon drawn by the agents. Slide the panels around to form the picture. To the right is a description of, of the Pokemon. Okay, let's start off with the corners. Always off at the corners. Okay. Gotta do the edges. Missing a piece. There it is. Okay. There you go. There is a strange presence here. Oh no! It's an unknown! <gasps> I wonder how much experience they give. Forty-three? That's pretty good, actually. It's like close to a starter giving you experience. I like how the, the, the lady just leaves too. <laughs> like, oh no, the unknown have been disturbed. I better leave. There are drawings on stone panels. I tried moving them, 
I wonder what they are. I wonder what they are too. I've already solved one. You're studying the ruins? I see a scientist in the making. Okay. Oh, get up. Just to hurry. What are you doing? Have you gone to the Pokemon Gym? You can test your Pokemon and yourself there. It's a rite of passage for all trainers. Aww. So I have to go do it? Well, that's no, that's no fun. Don't make me, like, find a way to walk through walls. I'll do it! Alright. Let's go. Alright, so here's one of the best areas to grind for levels. I'm not gonna go talk to every NPC. Alright. Let's go, buddy. Oh, there's Bob up on here. Did not remember that. Rotata. Alright. Hello. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. Okay. All right, Sage Nico. What do you have for us? A bell sprout. Pretty good Pokemon. All right, I'm gonna use uh, a little move called Aeroblast and take you out. Yeah, I kind of figured. Only certain Pokemon can survive Liguria's powerful Aeroblasts. Bellsprout's not one of them. Okay, so I did a little bit of research, and now I know that that Pokemon's actually really good. For our HMs. Good. Okay. Takes care of a good number of them. You've got three of them? This is where I really wish that we had another move. Anything. But the next actual usable move that we can learn is Gust, and that's a level 22. <laughs> so it's gonna take a while before we're actually able to do anything. The reason why I picked up a bunch of potions is that though, like, when we use Struggle, which I think is now, I think, is when we have to use it now. Uh, we'll at least have enough HP to take on everyone who stand guard in this tower. Here we express our gratitude to honor all Pokémon. But we all use spell sprouts. Alright, buddy. That's a cool Pokemon. Liguria will will struggle. Take you out. Doing only four damage, it's not too bad actually. This is better than what we did with Pokemon Uranium where was it Acton? I think Acton, like, took, like, a million HP kind of thing. But that's how it is normally in the newer Pokemon games, is that, like, when you struggle, you take, like, more health away from yourself than you do of the other person. And it's like, why? Should just be, like, a normal recoil move. Yay. We're not learning Safeguard just yet. Next, next level. We'll learn Safeguard. Yay! My favorite move. Because, you know, it works just like Protect, right? <laughs> I wish. I wish Safeguard did that. Like, it protects you from the turn, and then it protects you from status conditions for, like, five turns. That'd be kind of cool. It's like Protect, but with extra, with extra things. X Defend. Yay! So we're going to try and maintain the whole item rule. The only thing is that because we can only use, like, one Pokemon at a time, which is, well, the starter, uh, I might, like, be a little bit um, more loose with that one. So long as it's not too crazy. Sway like leaves in the wind. Sure.
Bellsprout. Okay. Liguria. Alright, Liguria. Struggle. Let's go. Perfect. Took out the Bellsprout in one shot. Technically, we shouldn't be... None of them should survive now, right? They're all level 3. And the last one that survived with level 3 only had like 1 HP left. But we were level 9 when that occurred, but now we're level 10. Which means that our attack stat is slightly higher than normal. So technically we should be stronger now. So far so good. Alright, Edmund. You are weak. Okay. I'm trying to click B because I'm so used to other games. Alright. Perfect. Thank you. Alright, we're at the final stretch. <gasps> I used a potion to gain a potion! Yay! That's like the best write-off ever. Hello there. I train to find enlightenment in Pokemon. That's good to know. That's cool. It's cool, Sage Jin. Bellsprout. Level 6? Don't know. Alright, struggle. Yeah, we might be getting hurt a little bit. Growth? Growth's pretty good. But it is nothing compared to struggle. Hi. Yeah, so the difference between, like, well, major difference between this game and Pokemon, uh, like, red, blue, and yellow, is that uh, we no longer are having a special stat, which is our both our special defense, and our special defense and our special attack and all in one. So our master's light. HM lights, even pitch black darkness. Cool. Cool. Anyway. Because I can... Because I can only imagine, like, what our special would be if we have 90 special attack and 154 special defense. I can only imagine what it is going to be. using growth that's fine i'm using struggle we're struggling with this match but it should be fine nothing here we go we have now learned a second move known as safe oh we gotta go through safeguard all right Well, gonna have to retreat. Cause how much safeguard? Did yeah, safeguard twenty-five. So we gotta go run. All right, I'm running away. Don't think that I am weak though. I'm just running away because I don't want to go through twenty hours of me going through trying to use safeguard enough times. And that's actually one of the best ways of actually grinding your levels is through the Sprout Tower. Which is exactly what this place is called. The Way of Pokemon. Okay. Seems weird that they call it Sprout Tower, but then they're like, oh yeah, we worship all Pokemon here. It's like... Wouldn't you be worshipping Bellsprout? Or is it Sprout Tower because they use Bellsprout in a way of worshipping all other Pokemon? Hello there. Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. I trust them very much. Arrow Blast. Arrow Blast again. Oh my god, look, we won! It was so quick. Oh. <gasps> you are indeed skilled as a Pokemon trainer. As promised, here is your HM. But let me see this. You should treat your Pokemon better. 
The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. Hmm. He claims to be the elder, but he's weak. It stands to reason. I never lose to fools who babble about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. Then you ditch your starter then. <gasps> Arcabus used an escape rope. Young, j youngster Joey, come on. Howdy, it's me, Joey, isn't it? Nice out. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People in Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. Alrighty then. Alright, Liguria. Huh. I think my bonds are pretty good, actually. Ah, excellent. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this flashy chum. I don't think we're going to use it, though. Flash illuminates even the darkest of all places. But to use it out of battle, you need the badge from Violet City's gym. Cool. Here's an escape rope. And we shall now use it. going to heal we're going to take on the gym we're going to go all the way towards the gym leader we're going to then heal then we're going to go against the gym leader normally i'd probably try and risk it at least a little bit because we have like a legendary but because we only have five power points for our move i kind of don't want to risk it especially since it's 95 percent accuracy At least it's not like Legends Arceus kind of level where it's like, oh yeah, we can... Like, it's a, too much risky because we can just attack as soon as we send out our new Pokemon out. Let me see if you were good enough to face Falconer. Well. I personally think that I am, but you can personally think that I'm not. Alright, Abe. Uh, Alright. Sent out a Spearow. Well, that's kind of cool. I have Luguria. Can you handle it? I'm going to use Aeroblast. Alright, cool. Alright, well, this can't be true. Actually, it is. Alright, perfect. Alright, next one. Yeah, I don't really care, buddy. Just... Okay. Just send out your Pokemon already, just so I can take it out. With Luguria. Alright, there we go. Better bust. Bye. And down it goes. Okay, what about this? Pidgey! Pidgey's pretty cool. Alright, Aeroblast again. And it's down! So something that I want to mention before we go face the gym later is that I might not make 10 videos of this. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I might just make 8 videos instead of 10 like I normally would have done because like I 
don't really feel like making 10. I feel like making 8. But I might trail off into 10 kind of thing, though, so... I don't know. See how far that goes, but, like, as far as I'm feeling right now, I just want to make, like, at least some videos of this and then just end it. Alright there, buddy. Alright. I'm Faulkner, the Violet's Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I don't have an electric type. I want to allow such insults to bird Pokemon. They'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. You do that, buddy. Alright, let's go. Pidgey. Guria. Arrow Blast. Perfect. Alright. Pidgeotto. Interesting. Arrow Blast. Goodbye. Looks like I've defeated the first gym with a landslide. Darn, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. Alright, take this. It's the official Pokemon League Zephyr badge. Yay. Cool. Alright, raises the attack power of Pokemon. It also enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it. Anytime. Here, take this too. What is that? Can I use that? <gasps> Ooh, a can! By using a TM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act. A TM can be used only once. TM31 contains Mud Slap. It reduces the enemy's accuracy while it causes damage. In other words, it is both defensive and offensive. In other words, it's another move that I can give to Liguria. Pokemon gyms are in cities and towns ahead. Or are in cities and towns ahead. You should test your skills at these gyms. I'm going to train harder to become the greatest bird master. You do that. Meanwhile... Should I give... Liguria Mud Slap. It gives us another move that we can rely on, but what I might end up doing. Oh. Alright, thank you. Alright. Hello, Drathus. We discovered something about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you talk to him? Okay. Drethus, long time no see. Professor Elm asked me to find you. Okay. He has another favorite ask. Would you take the Pokemon egg? Sure. I'll take it. I discovered that a Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. It also has to be with other active Pokemon to hatch. Drethus, you're the only person we can rely on. Please call Professor Oak when that egg hatches. Okay. Actually, while well, I'm here. Go. And if you get the bells right, you can go to this house and you can get an onyx. Which is actually kind of the reason why I said, like, you might want to get a bell sprout, double it up enough, and then get the onyx. Because it actually is very useful. Get some good Pokemon there. Must be from the training you gave them around Violet City. Training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, take this. It increases the power of grass-type moves. I think he gives you type-dependent ones, depending on like which po which starter you did take. Experiences of Violet City should be useful for your journey. Sure. 
Hello there. Haven't seen you around before, so you think you're you're pretty tough. I do. I think so. Alright, youngster Albert. If that is your real name, I don't know. Or Tana, that's fine. We have Aeroblast. Zubat. Aeroblast again. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. Oh, hey, what's over here? Oh? Ooh, got a free potion. Nice. Hello. Alright, well, you need to run went down in one shot. Alright. Uh, what, what was that? Take it easy. That's mean. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's rude is that you were still on the phone with the other person. Anyway. Hello. My Pokemon? Freshly caught. So you didn't train them. Okay. I mean, if you want. Poliwag's a good Pokemon. Aeroblast. Poliwag again. Cool. Aeroblast. Splash. <laughs> Cool. Anyway. Oh man. I think I've been an even better trainer. Okay. Oh, you have that. Okay. Well. Gotta use the safeguard a bunch of times. Come on. Oh, Liguria fainted. No. Cut surf. Looks like we're losing today, boys. Yeah, I think you lose money when you lose, so we only lost once. But it's fine. Because now Liguria will be fully healed with hopefully all of the power points at our disposal. Does. Perfect. Safeguard was not a good move to give to a level like. 11 Lugia. So there's only one Pokemon that we need to get over here. I mean, if we get it, it's good. But if we don't get it, then it's going to be fine. Alright. Alright, that's fine. Perfect. Got level 14. Nice. Stop giving me the Bell Sprout. So we could put one in the grass. I think they'll do it for me. Okay. A whooper. That's cool. Oh no, the whooper went down. Whatever will we do? Yeah, the look is. So I'm all shopping with your money. It's in your PC. Yay! This is the Pokemon I was talking about. All right, so we need this. I'm hoping that it does do what I think it does. So give me one second, I'll go take a look at it. Let's see here, where is it on this list? Okay, so, there it is. You can, okay, good.
All right, there we go. It's static electricity builds in its body. Its fleece doubles in volume. Touching it will shock you. Cool. We're gonna name it Flash. Because that is the TM that it'll use. Excellent. I want a rematch there, bud. Liguria wants a rematch. You shall take the full force of Liguria's arrow blast. I should have paused and healed, but I didn't want to take advantage of that. Whoa, you made me lose that fish. A fish. A magic card? Alright, we can safely just do this. Even though we're gonna go to. I think there's a Pokemon Center later on that we'll just use anyway. Alright. And I will just take these guys out. Perfect. So I should have just fought that guy anyway. Okay. Oh, how would you like to have this tasty, nutritious slowpoke tail for you right now? Just one million poke dollars, so you'll want this. Yeah, sure, why not? I thought kids these days were loaded. I don't know why you think that. Hello there, buddy. That badge, it's from Violet City. You beat Faulkner? Sure did. Alright, Peter. Let's see what you got, buddy. Pidgey. Just gonna keep struggling. Level 15. Nice. We need seven more levels in order for us to achieve to learn cost. I think that's the move. I think that's the move. Yes, we'll be able to learn Gust. Our oh, second offensive move that has more power points. That's the highlight of it. We'll actually have a move with more power points than anything. Anyway. I actually love caves in this game. They look really good. Like, it looks detailed in a way that makes it actually look really good. Whoa, what a surprise. I didn't expect to see anyone here. What? Didn't expect to see anybody in a cave? Oh. This won't end well. <laughs> uh, huh, okay. Let's see. Ooh, dang, I didn't expect it to do that much. I actually didn't expect it to do that much. All right. Got a potion, nice. I need more TMs. Oh no, it's a cheat, dude. They're getting stronger. Well, I'm all out. We gotta leave now. Why? Uh, okay. Okay, we might be able to finish the next town stuff, but that's it.
Oops. All right. Hello there, buddy. Zubat Supersonic keeps confusing my Pokemon. I'm seriously upset about that. I'm really upset that people keep thinking that I'm weak, even though I have a legendary Pokemon. Hey, look. No. No, Santoro. We don't need you. I used to think the Sancho, like, sprite in this game looked actually really cute as a kid, and I kept trying to catch it, cause, just because I liked it. I look at it, it looks so cute. It's just looking up, like, are you my dad? Kind of situation, like, does it... Like, are you going to be my trainer? It's like, no, but I would love to have you. <laughs> Hello there. Where are you? I roam far and wide in search of Pokemon. Are you looking for Pokemon 2? Then you are my collecting rival. Sure. You have a slow poke, that's cool. <laughs> are you my collecting rival? Sure, it's like, okay. I have a legendary Pokemon. I have a slow poke. Cool. Okay. Full picks? That's cool. Oh, what happened? Oh, well, that's weird. His Pokemon vanished. Hello, welcome to our Pokemon Center. We can heal your Pokemon back to perfect health. Would you like just to heal it? Yep. Perfect. Click the wrong button. I click it the wrong button again. Because there's a trainer over here. I came through the tunnel, but I still have plenty of energy left. Air blast. Perfect. Air blast again. Perfect. It's unsafe to go in there, so I'm standing guard. Aren't I a good Samaritan? Nobody really says that, though. Nobody says, like, oh, hey, I'm such a good Samaritan because I'm preventing you from doing this. It's like... It's like, okay? Like, nobody... Like... Do you know about Slowpoke Tail? I heard it's tasty. Aren't you glad that I told you that? Sure. Why not? Okay. So I guess we'll go into this house. Hey there, buddy. Hmm? Who are you? Trathus, eh? You want to make some balls? Sorry, but that'll have to wait. Do you know about... Do you know Team Rocket? Uh, don't worry. I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyway... They're at the well, cutting off Slowpoke Tails for sale. So I'm going to give the, go give them a lesson in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke. Old Kurt is on his way. Uh oh. I was gone. I'm so lonely. <laughs> oh, what happened to the guy that was a good Samaritan? Hey, okay, Dadrathus. The gods of top turns up took off when I shouted at them. But then I took a tumble down the well. I slammed down hard on my back. So I can't move. Rats, if I were fit, my Pokemon would have punched them. Uh, I can't be helped. Try to show them how gutsy that you are in my place. Okay. Hello there. Darn I was standing up top. When some old coot yelled at me. He startled me so much that I fell down here. I think I'll vent my anger by taking it out on you. Why would you do that? Why would you vent it out on me? What did I ever do to you? Stop taking tails. Yeah, just try to defeat all of us. Yeah, go for heads, man. Heads is better than tails any day. Oh, sorry, we're not talking about a coin? Oh. Whoops. Alright. Oh 
no. Maybe we'll get lucky. That won't do much damage. Okay. Sure. Why not? There we go. Clicking all the wrong buttons. All right, let's go to the bag. Let's go heal up again. Perfect. Hey there, buddy. What do you want? If you interrupt our work, don't expect any mercy. It's fine. Struggle. Struggle again. And we win. Nice. Yeah, Team Rocket was broken up three years ago. But we continued our activities underground. Now, you can have fun watching us stir up trouble. Cool. Way to go, Dreyfus. Team Rocket has taken off. My back's better, too. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Okay. Hi, Dreyfus. You handle yourself like a real hero at the well. I like your style, your spunk, if you will. I would be honored to make balls for a trainer like you. This is all I have now, but take it. Cool. Make balls from apricorns. Collect them from trees and bring them to me. I'll make balls out of them. I'm trying to remember when it happens. Ah, here we go. Tell me something. Is it true the Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? Ha. Quit lying. You're not joking? Then let's see how good you are. Airblast. Airblast again. And airblast again. Ha. Hmm. Useless Pokemon. Listen now. You want <laughs> My Pokemon were weak. It's probably like saying like... You better not think that you're uh, strong because you're actually weak. I hate the weak Pokemon. I hate the weak Pokemon. Trainers, it doesn't matter. Who or what. I'm going to be strong and wipe out the weak. That goes for Team Rocket too. They act big and tough in a group. But get them alone and they're weak. I hate them all. You say it out of my way. A weakling? Like you is only a distraction. Okay. Cool. Anyway. Let's go take on the second gym. Yeah, there's a gym here. You can probably see it. Actually, it probably says, said gym before. Yeah, it said gym before. Anyway, yeah. Hello. Hi, are you challenging the leader? No way. Yes way? It's not a double battle, so that's good. Now yeah, we won. Yay, we win. We might be able to get Gust. Oh no. Just gonna keep on trying to use Safeguard. There you go. Perfect. Ooh. Should I use a super potion? No. Don't tell me that you have a lot of Pokemon now. Are you the last trainer? You're the last trainer, Keika. 
Whew, okay. Now it's just Jim Lito versus us. We only have one potion in our name. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on bug Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. to that yeah I'll just won't speed up on gym leader battles or very important battles no Kakuna that's fine air blast again This thing's the only threat, but it's fine. We still have three arrow blasts. Oh, oops. All right. Perfect. We're at level 20. Soon we will learn a new move that shall destroy everything. Wow, amazing. You're an expert on Pokemon in general. My research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win. Take this badge. What's the TM number? Do you know the ben Do you know the benefits of high badge? If you have it, Pokemon up to level thirty will obey you if you trade them, of course. Uh, that are traded, of course. Uh, uh, Pokemon that no cut will be able to use it outside of battle too. Here, I also want you to have this. Forty nine. Nope. Can't learn it. Contains Fury Cutter. If you don't miss, it gets stronger each every turn. The longer your battle goes, the better it gets. But it does have a limit. Uh, isn't that great? I discovered it. Yeah, it's like it goes up to like I think like going up to power two hundred, I think, and it like it goes up by like ten power every time it gets used. So the battle has to be long, like two Wobbuffets fighting each other and both doing like little to no damage to each other kind of thing. And then you have Fury Cutter to help. Oh man, my boss is going to kill, this is going to be steaming. The far fetch that cuts trees for charcoal took off on me. I can't go looking for, for it here in the Ilex forest. It's too big, dark and scary for me. I don't remember how to do this. I kind of vaguely remember. Some same Pokemon, far-fetched. Cool. Uh, is it here? There you go. Qua. Well, wow, thanks a bunch. My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge. Um, I fall fetched. You found it for us, first kid. Without it, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? I know. Here, take this. We received HMO one cut. That's the cut HM. Teach that to a Pokemon to clear small trees. 
Of course, you have to have the gym badge from Azalea to use it. That's cool, because we actually do have that badge. It is right over here. Uh, just gotta go find the TMs. Perfect. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty easy for me to find the Pokemon, because literally, it's named that way. There we go. Actually, they can be used to cut. Cut. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Alright, so if we go down here, I think you can give me a move. If I remember correctly, it's like headbutt, I think. What are we doing? I'm shaking trees using headbutt. It's fun. Here, you try it too. You can learn it, right? Yes! It's also a move I can use. Rattle trees with headbutt. Sometimes sleeping Pokemon fall out. Do I want to give it headbutt? Hmm. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. I mean, if it's like an important battle kind of thing and we don't have any moves, we can probably do it. But I don't think there's much trainers anyway. I think all the trainers are done. Face you. Just trying to avoid all the trainers for now. You're technically a trainer, but I think you're one of the ones that only works at night, though. I only want trainers, fine. I should have more than enough Aeroblast for that one trainer. Oops. I'm a little bit too far back. Blast, her blast again. Perfect. All right. Air blast. Air blast again. Air blast once more. Perfect. Uh, so there's actually a little bit of history that I wanted to talk about for this area in particular because it's actually very hilarious in my own way. So. A long time ago, when I was a kid, what back before the internet even had like sort of walkthroughs or sort of like something you would look up just to find out where you needed to go, uh, I had Pokemon Crystal. And there's a whole big story around it that I do not want to get into. But I definitely do want to mention a story because it actually is kind of funny. So, I was able to beat the third gym with having a Chikorita as my starter. And one of the major problems that I had after the fact was that I either I skipped dialogue or it never really told me where to go next. So, I kind of stayed towards Goldenrod City. And I just kept farming the Chikorita, hoping that, like, maybe someone will tell me what to do or someone will, like, walk up and go, Hey, have you beaten the fourth gym or whatever? Or something along those lines. Anyway, so... I was going through everything, and I ended up eventually getting the Chikorita into a Meganium. Before the fourth gym. And I thought that, that was such good progress that I ended up not playing the game again. Like, at all. Like, I just got stuck after the third gym because there's no clear direction on where you needed to go. Or how you needed to progress. And again, there was, there was internet, but there wasn't much of like websites or any different things. Like there was no such thing as Cerebi or something like that, or around that time period where it would actually tell you where to go. And even if there was, I had no way of looking for it because I didn't know what to search. 
So, like, I had no way of continuing further from that, if that makes sense. So, like, after the third gym, I got stuck. And then I just never continued onward. So it just seems kind of funny though, like, now it's like, I know what to do now, and it's like, I wish I would I wish that I would tell my younger self that, too. Like, oh, in order to progress further, you need to go and, like, to, like, this building and not, no, not like, that kind of thing. Alright, let's go take on the gym. We should be all good to go. Alright. I don't think you have much prep in us. Oh, you are a cute little trainer. I like you, but I won't hold back. That's cool. I like being called cute. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Alright. Beauty Victoria. What's your secret? No, I'm kidding. Okay. Alright. Uh, Air Blast. Now this will be the highlight of my of my day if this actually does work cuz I'm going to be very surprised if it does cuz it should be pretty bulky But if I'm remembering correctly gen 3 and under flying is a physical move or physical type So it might not work the way that I'm thinking it does Blast. Cool. Oops, too far. Gonna have to plan out each and every gym, I think, because I think, uh, I'm definitely gonna need it for, I think it's the, supposed to be the sixth gym. I might be wrong. So, yeah. Hello. Give it your best shot, or I'll take you down. Alright. He didn't really take me down. Anyway. Just making sure there's no other trainers around this area. Okay, I'll try the next trainer. We need to make sure that it's only two Pokemon and that we don't miss. Is it just the gym leader next? No, there's one more trainer. Hmm. Yeah, the only sad thing is that we do not have abilities yet. That's only in Gen 3 that they started. Because I think pressure would be very helpful. Let's go down here, let's go here. Either way, you have to go through a trainer at the beginning. Okay, so either way you're facing like four trainers at the very least. Unless you can bypass this trainer somehow. Oh my god, you can! We're not doing that, though. Okay. Oh, we have Gust now? <gasps> yes! Okay, we're gonna stay in now. Now that we have Gust, we should be good to go.
Okay, we're gonna use Gust now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. Yeah. Good pain in the butt. Alright, Leader Whitney, let's see what you got. Clefairy? This could be potentially very dangerous. I should be fine. Gust. Come on. Ooh, nice. That's not gonna do a lot of damage. Okay, safeguard. That should prevent us from getting affected by much. Bide. Okay. Gus should take you out. Alright, the bane of everyone's existence. Aeroblast. Bet everybody would love to be able to use Aeroblast on this thing. It lived. How? Yeah, it did pretty okay damage. I'd, I'd, th I'd say that that's okay damage. Bye. You got locked into rollout. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> wow, you're mean. You shouldn't be so serious. You, you child, you. Wah, wah. <laughs> you meanie. Okay. Oh no, you made Whitney cry. It's okay, she'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. <laughs> what? What do you want? A badge? Oh, right, I forgot. Here's plain badge. <laughs> yeah, what do you want? It's like, I need a badge. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's you use strength outside of battle. It also boosts your Pokemon's speed. Oh, you can have this too. Can we use that? Nope. It's a tract. No wonder I can't use it. Of a Pokemon's charm. Yay, isn't it perfect for a cute like me? Or for a cutie like me? Nope. Anyway, the end. Now have everything that we need. Oh, come on, buddy. Now we gotta head towards the side of the gym. Stop it! Okay. Oh, you're better than Whitney. Do you know about that moving tree? If you wet it with a squirt bottle, it attacks. But since you have some badges, you should be okay. Yay! La 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 la. Have plenty of water, my lovely. Okay. I didn't even click anything. Okay. Hello. Are you going to the gym? Me too. That's cool. The Guria! Alright. Use Gust. Stop calling me. I'm gonna shout my girlfriend the lot stuff. 
That's some co that's some that's such a bad line. Anyway, let's see what you got. Okay. Okay. Uh, gust. Gust again. Cool story, bro. All right. Anyway, let's go. My boyfriend's weak, so I can't rely on him. I mean, you're not wrong. I just beat him. What do you got? A Pikachu. That is potentially very dangerous for my flying type. But don't worry, I have got a, a move just with your name on it. Aeroblast. I mean, if you rearrange Pikachu, you get Aeroblast, so... I need to change a little bit of the letters, but you get Aeroblast. Alright, what do you got? Okay. He's been getting his Pokemon data from the radio. Okay. Diglett. That's cool. Diglett's a pretty good Pokemon. But Lugoria is too strong for you. Lugoria is just too strong, man. Too strong for you. Another Diglett? Wow. It's like you don't know type diversity. At least certain gym leaders at least try, but they at least have one type in common. So, like, what I mean by that is, that, like, Bugsy will stick with Bug type as the mo as the main type, but will branch out to like Bug poison, Bug water, Bug flying kind of thing. Man, he didn't really have much. Anyway, huh? Oh my god! What is it? It's a... It's a Togepi! No. Because we'll be throwing Togepi into the box. Because I don't think Togepi can be useful for anything. What is it? Level 5? Is it Generation 3 that it does it then? Hello. What do you have? I'm practicing my fire breathing. Cool. I'm practicing my beating other trainers breathing, I don't know. Magmar? Ooh, that thing can be pretty tough. But we're like double its level, we should be fine. Or a little more than double its level. Gust. Let's go. Let's snuff out its flame. Hi. Next. I said next, not bringing it back, just st slightly stronger than normal. Snuff out its flame again. What are you doing? <laughs> Bye, like... What does it learn at level 36, though? Sorry, 33. Ooh! I, I like it. It's actually really good. It learns Recover, so I get a, a move. I don't need to use potions. It's good. Uh, sure, Gust. I'm anywhere with Bug Pokemon appear there. Hello, Venonat. Have you met Luguria? And have you met its powerful Gust attack? I bet you haven't, because you're not down until now. Hey, there you go. I see, so you paddle that way. I guess. Cool. Are you a trainer? You are a trainer, okay. I'm going to read your thoughts. First, I gotta actually think. Alright. My thinking has been enabled. I think you're weak. 
thinking that Gust is going to take out your Abra. It did. Alright. I think Gust is going to take away your second Abra. Man, I'm just so good at this thinking thing, man. This time I'm just going to think out loud. Alright, Katabra is going to be slightly stronger than normal, but I think that a normal gust should be able to take it down into a round either fainted or close to it. And I'm correct, it's fainted. Also, I remembered that its defenses are not as good as its offenses. Anyway, I misread you. You did! What did you think? I'd be strong if I could tell what my opponent was thinking. But you said you could read my mind. Can you not read minds? Another trainer. Alright, what do we have here? Thanks to my studies, I'm ready for a new Pokemon. Alright, Alan. Let's see what you got. Ah, uh, Tangula. Or Tangela. I don't know. Alright, Tangela. Let's go. Gust. Ooh, not too bad. Poison powder. That's fine. Gust. Doesn't matter. Because we have one move that nobody, or one item that nobody ever actually thinks about. Even I forget about it sometimes. I said we have an antidote. Aha, there we go. That's some weird grass texture over here. <laughs> we adore our Pokemon, even if they dislike us. That's what being a fan is about. Sure. I guess. In a way, you're not wrong. I guess. William! Alright, Pokemon fan William. Sent out a Raichu. It's level 14. That's a pretty strong Raichu you got there. It's a shame that Aeroblast is going to take it out in one shot. Too bad you couldn't read my mind. Ah. The Pokemon. Sure. Hello, why are you staring at me? Oh, a battle? Sure. Why not? Alright, last Chris. What's going on here? Oddish. That's such an odd dish. Right there. Oh, no. Okay. Gust. Wrap this up with Gust now. Let's go. Come on, Liguria. You can take things out in one shot if you really wished. If you just wished for it, it could happen. Okay. Okay. Sunkern. Nope. You know more than I do. I don't think so. I've got Gust on my side. Yeah, you know so much, buddy. You know so much about uh, Gusts, apparently. 
but you just didn't know how strong they could be. Okay. We're dealing with cute Pokemon. Whatever that means. Ha! That's scary! Okay. I always thought that when everybody says, like, Stumble's a cute Pokemon, I always thought, like, or you're joking, right? <laughs> it doesn't look that cute to me. Okay, cool. I don't know, the cutest Pokemon, in my opinion, has always been Eevee. Just because it just looks like the right kind of fluff, and it's, like, it's not too, like... Like, I don't want to say advanced, but, like, it's not too, like, over the top. It's cute, it's adorable, it's a simple design, it makes a lot of sense. It just looks so cute and fluffy. Trainers always want to battle, yeah. What Pokemon is that? Ooh, Quick Claw. What does that do? No, I'm joking. A Persian? Ooh. Playing with stickers I printed for my book picks. Okay. Oh, but how's my graceful ball dust right here? Okay. Alright, juggler. Perfect. Got a level 2 Voltorb. Level 6, level 10, level 14. They go up by 4 levels each. Incredible. You're better than that one guy that I think. What was it? He had Geodudes that went up by like 2 levels each, I think? Just because he only had three Pokemon, you had four. Okay, I don't remember where it is, though. I think it's across the Pokemon Center, though. It is, okay. Not the one I want to talk to. I think you're the one I wanted to talk to. Uh, we'll go with 50. 50 should be fine. Not really worth. Okay. Uh, we don't really need Miracle Seed. No, I'll keep it. It's worth more to just keep than anything. Uh, we'll buy about ten of these. And for the leftover, we'll just buy potions, I guess. Oops. Let's buy potions, I guess. So buy six potions, I guess. Thank you. I mean, if I could buy ethers and elixirs and all that stuff, I'd, I'd, I'd buy those. But no. Alright. Alright. So we are three. Use square bottle? No. Alright. We shall save. Let's use the squirt bottle. Wittery doesn't like the squirt bottle. The Wittery attacked. Oh no! It attacked us! Whatever will it be? It's a pseudo Wudo. Cool. And I think this is the only time you can actually get a pseudo Wudo, so you want to definitely catch it. Uh, let's see here. I thought it was going to be harder than that. 
<laughs> nope. Because this one's going to go into the box. So now that I'm thinking about it, I should probably go and get it. Because I think it might be useful. Ooh, Ditto could be definitely very useful. Oh. There it is. Okay. No. Actually, we can get the item. TMO4? What's TMO4? Something that I can't actually use. Okay. For you. Kinds of Pokeball do you use? Only the Pokeball. I would use different ones because it's no point. I want. I need you, please. Thank you. Give it a nickname. Yep, we're going to call you. Tell a port. Because I think. I think if it works the way that I think it does, we can actually use it. Uh, R, there we go. R and T, there we go. Perfect. No, it was sent to Bill's PC, but that's fine. Okay. And now with that tree gone, we can now go over here. Does that NPC say anything different now that the tree is gone? Without a trace. Oh, that tree was really a Pokemon? Did you clear that wretched tree? I'm impressed. I want you to have this. Ooh. That happens to be Rock Smash. You can shatter rocks with just a single well-aimed smack. If any rocks are in your path, just smash them up. That's kind of weird, though, that you couldn't just use that against a tree, though. Because it's Pseudo Wudo, who's a rock type, and you smash rocks. Actually, I guess it could be, like, mean to do that to a Pokemon, I guess? I don't know. And I are in this together. Cool. Okay. Why? <laughs> oh, having, having Gust has been a godsend. Lord Cube has graced us with his presence. Just giving us gust when we need it. The most. What? Hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? Mmm, Drathus, huh? You've come at the right time. I just finished adjustments on my time capsule. You know, the Pokemon can be traded, right? My time capsule was developed to enable trades with the past. But you can't send anything that didn't exist in the past. If you did, the PC in the past would have a breakdown. So you would have to remove anything that wasn't around in the past. Put simply, no sending new moves or new Pokemon in the time capsule. Don't you worry, I'm done with the adjustments. Tomorrow, time capsule will be running at all Pokemon centers. I have to hurry on back to Goldenrod to see, and see my folks. Bye bye Okay. All right, pills PC, deposit, Tokabi, and pseudo Wudo. There we go. Withdraw, teleport. Okay. So I want to see if it works the way that I think it does. Okay. Okay. Let's see if it works the way that I think it does. Yes. Cool. Alright. So let's do the one event here, and then that'll be it. Because we did a lot, actually. We went through three gyms. Oh no! It's Archimus! Oh, it's you! You wanted to get stronger, so you came for the legendary Pokemon. Now I already have one. 
that's supposed to be here. That's your story, right? Well, that's not going to happen, because I'm going to get it. I'm going to be the world's greatest trainer, so a legendary Pokemon would be perfect for me. I already have one. Well, anyway, I'm getting tired of having a wimp like you always showing up. I'm always having a problem dealing with a wimp like you. Whatever, Arcmus. Whatever. Come on. Let's go. Hunter, level 20. Pfft, still weak. Liguria. Deal with this punk with Arrow Blast. Perfect. A Magnemite. Hmm. Safeguard. Protect ourselves from paralysis. Because I just know you're going to do it. Sonic Boom. Oh no. My one weakness. Arrow Blast. So this does a lot of damage. Oh, I didn't do a lot as I thought. Arrow Blast again! Now we're gonna have to start using items. Gust. Bye. So what's next? A weak little Zubat. Gust. Shall take you out in one shot. Oh no. Really? That's interesting. Alright. Yeah, the one unfortunate thing is that bite is my weakness, but because you're a zoo bat, it's not gonna be as strong as let's say a gold bat, but it's fine. Quilava. It's also kind of weird though. Okay, never mind. Uh Aeroblast. It's kind of weird though that he doesn't like Team Rocket, but yet he's using a lot of the Pokemon that they have. Like, I'm sure some of them had, like, Gastly's or, like, they had Poison types kind of thing. Hmm. This is why I hate battling Wimps. There's no challenge in it. What are you talking about? I keep winning, you keep losing. Oh, whatever. You would never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. What are you talking about? You don't know that. Oh, I don't have Rock Smash. Technically, I do, but eh. Is that actually how the way you're supposed to do it? Yeah, that's the way you're supposed to do it. Alright. Well, that's going to be it for today. Next time, we'll take on the fourth gym, maybe. I'm not quite sure. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Gold.